30, we've got an update for you on one of the biggest civil works projects in our city's history. We're talking about the Dig Indy Tunnel System. It's meant to help clean up the bodies of water in our city. Our Samantha Johnson takes us inside tonight and explains the progress we've seen so far. There are currently 21 active sites as part of this project. This is just one of them along Prospect Street right across from the Community Justice Campus. And what you're seeing above ground, this isn't even the dirty work. The Dig Indy Tunnel system is designed to capture sewer water and then treat it before sending it out into the rivers. But to get to the bottom of all of this, we have to go, well, to the bottom. In a metal cage through 100 feet of soil, and 170 feet of bedrock. All right, so we are out of the cage. We've made it to the bottom of this tunnel here. This is 270 feet underground. What you see here, we have about 28.6 miles of total tunnel. Six tunnels in all, about 20 feet wide, capable of holding 270 million gallons of sewage each time it rains. On average, there's about five to six billion gallons of sewage that is released into the river system each year. When this project is done, we'll capture close to 97 to 99% of all of that flow. So far, four of the tunnels are complete, keeping 5 billion gallons of sewer water out of our rivers since 2017. And hopefully it spurs some economic development along the river as well. Our goal is to make India River City. Um, we've said that from the beginning. That's Peter. He's the founder of a paddle sports business on the White River, and he says he is already seeing the benefits of Dig Indy. Water quality is better than it's been in half a century. And it's not just Peter who wants a spot on the water. I want food and a drink on the edge of the water. I want to be there and have fun. Nearby business owners say Indy's waterways are unused potential for future generations, especially with cleaner water in the years ahead. It's not going to be the old guys like me that are going to come down on a jet ski, but you know, if we have a jet ski rental place on the river, 20 somethings are going to be all over that. So heading into the new year, crews say they are on track to wrap up work in 2025. A lot of progress has been made in 2023 and uh, 2024 will be more of the same. In Indianapolis, Samantha Johnson, 13 News. And you can read more about this project, including where crews expect to start construction in our city next year. We